Question one. In this part of the question, you'll be assessed on the quality of your organisation, communication, and accuracy in writing. So they want you to write a detailed explanation about what you're doing and why. So Evan wants to book a holiday to Cyprus for one week and he finds a holiday using the internet. And you've got all the information here, the, um, what a hotel is, how many stars it's got, um, the cost per adult per week, the cost per child, half board, what the upgrades would be if you went to full board, etc. Um, and then discount if you paid in a uh, full time of booking. And then it just says half board includes breakfast and evening meal, full board includes breakfast, lunch and evening meal. It says Evan wants to book one room for two adults and one child. So that's really important because we know when we're working out the booking, we have to work out the booking for two adults and one child. He wants to upgrade to full board for the three people and he wants to see view. So that tells me that he wants full board. So this bit's going to be extra. And he also wants a sea view, which is an extra £115 per room. And it also then says he will pay in full when he books the holiday, which means the discount comes into play. So that's really important too. So let's start by... So first thing we've got to do is work out of the two adults and one child at half board. So the cost of um so two so it's two lots of the eight pound sixty plus one five hundred And that is 2,220. Could have done, you can use your calculator for that. The next thing is that you want to work out the cost of full board. And that's going to be an adult's 80 plus another adult's 80 pound plus a child's 55 pound. And that's two pound. £215 extra and the last bit is the sea view and that is going to be £115 so total cost will be £2,220 plus the full board which is 215 plus the sea view which is 115 so in total it'd be 2550 because you can work out on your calculator next bit and the last bit says that he's going to pay in full so he's going to get a 10 percent discount 10 percent discount you work out by doing 2,550 multiplied by 0 0.10, which is 10%. So on your calculator, you do 2550 times 0 0.10 equals, so the discount is going to be £255. So price to pay is two five five zero minus the two five 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 two five five zero minus two five five is two thousand ninety five pounds because we need to explain. We'll say Evan needs to pay two two nine five after the discount. How big? Evan in this 
family will fly from Cardiff Airport to Larnaca Air International Airport in Cyprus. And you're told the day they fly in, what time it leaves Cardiff, what time it arrives in Larnaca in Cyprus. And that there's Cyprus time is two hours ahead of UK time. And they want to know how long will the flight time take. So, we know that Cardiff... is two hours behind Cyprus. So what I'm going to do is we're going to look at the times. So when it's three o'clock in Cardiff, which is the takeoff time, then it would be 1700 hours so this is 3 p.m. and this would be 5 p.m. in Cyprus. And it says it arrives in Larnaca at 22.00. So when it arrives, which would be 20 in Cardiff, which is 8 p.m. Now the question says, how many hours different how long was the flight? Well, if it leaves at 3 p.m. at Cardiff and it arrives at 8 p.m. in Cyprus, but 8 p.m. Cardiff time, then we want to know the difference between 8 p.m. and 3 p.m., which is five hours. Part C. Evan sees the graph on a website and it shows the information about the weather in Larnaca. I want you to give one criticism about the graph. Well, we can see that the graph shows the temperatures going up. But there's one thing missing from this graph, and that is there's no values. So we don't know whether that's a massive gap or whether that's 5 degrees or whether it's 25 degrees. So there's, they're going to say there's no values... on the y-axis or you could just say no temps sure. part d evan sees this information about the average monthly rainfall in millimeters in larnaca and it's quite part one says, which of the words best describes the chance that it will rain in Larnaca on any given day in August? Now, in August, they have one millimetre of rain, which means that's very little. But because they have rain, it means it can't be impossible. Certain means it rains, it's going to rain every day. Likely means it's likely to rain, which it isn't. Even chance means that there's many days that could as it couldn't. Well, that's saying no. So the one you would go with is unlikely. Which month has an average rainfall closest to seven centimeters? Well, these are measured in millimeters. So seven centimeters is equivalent of seventy millimeters. So we're looking for the one that's closest to seventy. We're looking through here, 78 is quite close to 70, but it's 8 away. 64 is 6 away, so that's the closest at the moment. 34, nowhere near. D is very small. 66 is 4 away, so that's the closest. 94 is 24 away. So actually, November would be the answer.